YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Man, listen, let me just start the video by saying that I'm very grateful for the people that have been showing support to the channel, leaving likes, watching the videos. I hope that I can continue to entertain you guys and that you'll continue to come by and check out the latest content that I'm posting. So I've had the 55-inch uh, LG C2 OLED for about 10 days now, maybe 11 days. I think it's been nine or 10 days. Uh, the first video has been on the channel. Um, that I've been at least showing the content and sharing the content and so I just wanted to use this as a talking point video to just kind of discuss some of the questions and mentions that um, have come my way since showing that right okay so starting off um, I actually just left the movie theater I just came from an IMAX showing of Sonic 2 it is Tuesday and I took my six-year-old son he's a Sonic fan so uh, pretty good experience there um, it was something else, man. Just seeing the screen at large, um, obviously a lot of, uh, light bleed and, you know, things of that sort, but it was a good showing. And when I came home to my 77 inch, I'm sitting there just a little while ago, cause I actually just downloaded Sonic 2 to add it to my Plex server, which we'll get to that in a second. And I'm like, damn, now I want a bigger TV, <laughs> but, um, all right, so the first thing I want to talk about really is, you know, why I got the 55 inch. And I think I've, I've covered it within, you know, many videos why I got the 55 inch. Um, this TV was purchased along with the second one I've got coming in a couple of days because it's a gaming TV. And so when I made the mention the other day that I'd be holding on to these for years, I mean that coming from a PC gaming perspective. It does offer me everything that I feel I need. Um, when I'm sitting down, playing this my chair is about right here so whatever the exact measurements are I'm not sure I'm, I'm somewhere like four and a half five feet away I'm talking head to screen um, it works out good for me um, you know some of the titles that I'm playing console with the controller if I'm playing a fighting game I'm holding up using an arcade stick that's on my lap where it's on that small table that I made so um, it's not a it's not an eyesore concern for me. I made the executive call to get the 55 inch because I had the 48 inch C1 and um, I thought it was going to be too big. It wasn't. This is perfect for me. And then everything that I know for a fact that I was able to get within the right panel that I got out of my box. Perfect. So, again, if anyone needed to hear that, that's why I went with the 55 inch, um, you know, so. Would I be changing out the 77 inch C1? No, absolutely no. I'm gonna to continue to tell you guys I support the C1. Everybody is on the C1 train now because the price is down. So I was one of the ones that paid the retail of 3,500 last year when that TV came out. So now when you can get a 77 inch for like three grand, 2,800, 2,700, whatever it costs, I made a video, I carved that in about current prices. Um, I'm telling you that it's a great opportunity. Um, and I know I made the joke already saying I want a larger TV, but I'm not going to be getting rid of my 77 inch C1. It serves its purpose. It's a great TV. I encourage you to get that TV if you can afford it. Um, next mention, because Samsung has their, their, uh, I think they call it the 95 model of the quantum dot OLED. I'm not interested in buying into quantum dot OLED or QD OLED because it's in its infancy, right? Um, I'm well aware of what the technology, I understand that those are the pinnacle. That TV and the Sony TV are going to offer you probably the best looking quality from an overall like photo perspective. I'm not chasing after that, right? Um, so number one, those TVs don't come large enough yet, right? They're 55 inch and 65 are the two SKUs that they're marketing right now. So I will not be going from a 77 inch to a 65 inch like ever. I have a 65 inch in my bedroom, but for my main driver, definitely will not be going 65 inch. So it just makes it something that I wouldn't even consider. So that's number one. Number two, I'm pretty loyal to technology that meets my needs. I'm a gamer. Everything that you'll hear me talking about is gaming. My channel is called All About TKK. TKK stands for Tournament Known Killer. In the 90s, I was a Street Fighter player. I played in arcade tournaments. So that's who I am. I like to play video games. And so most of my content about these TVs is going to come from a gaming perspective. I know I've covered a couple of things that, you know, your, your professional 
TV reviewers just aren't going to cover. And when they do talk about the gaming, it's pretty linear, right? It's it's really linear. They don't really dive deep into um, the logistics of what I think a, like a professional gamer or a semi-pro gamer would be looking for. So in saying all of that, I'm sticking with the LG for now because their platform, the software, everything that they've got right now offers me the best TV overall, right? The best overall. Uh, when you review TVs, you're looking at them from a lot of different categories. You got you got the picture quality, you got black levels, you know, you got uh, image retention, you got input latency, response time. You got a lot of different things that you're going to be looking for. These TVs, being the LG market right now for the OLED, they they I feel like they're very close to the peak of or the pinnacle of what they can be. I feel like they've got another couple of years. And from the C9 on to now, they've just been awesome. I'm going to keep rocking with what I know is going to be best for me, right? So again, if you missed it, if you were kind of scammed through the video, I'm saying that I will not be getting rid of the C1 anytime soon. I don't want a smaller TV, so it eliminates Sony and Samsung. And I will not be getting Sony or Samsung because I don't know what they will offer from a gaming perspective. I really would like it if these TV manufacturers could do like LG did, partner up with NVIDIA because I'm a PC enthusiast gamer and get me some G-Sync on those TVs and then I know that I'll at least consider those. But to answer that, that's why. Um, I had a question asked me about some software and I'm gonna make another video regards to this, right? Pendelum, right? I had one gentleman ask me if I can run the demo of that. I've ran some demos on that. I really don't want to talk about it on this video. I'm going to shave, I'm going to, I'm going to make a video going in depth with my findings on that. Um, I appreciate you though. If you, if you're subscribed and notified and if you're seeing this video, you can definitely comment. I don't, I can't think of the name right now. I did save the notes, but I appreciate you for mentioning that because it does make for great content that most people that buy this TV won't be considering to look at. Um, and so I have some interesting findings on there. I want to do some more research, but expect a video to be coming soon on that piece. Um, I got a lot of content that I'm going to be shooting, like probably tonight and tomorrow. So you won't have an upload tomorrow. You will expect like another flood of uploads starting Thursday. I got some content about the TVs. I got a monitor that I got to unbox. Um, actually... Let's phase four. You can go ahead and cut right, we'll so phase. this monitor right here. I'm going to use this just to kind of promote a little bit of content. Um, I just picked up this monitor, so I'm not really thinking I'm going to do like an unboxing on it, but I got this arcade cabinet and these sticks are not going to be on there. I just kind of set them there because I didn't want to move them to the garage yet, but this monitor is going to go there. So with me talking about like me being a gamer, I purchased this monitor because of the one millisecond um, response time. It's about 10 milliseconds of input latency. So phenomenal, phenomenal option. Like when I'm looking at panels, and I think this is a great talking point to kind of cover why I went with the C2. Um, I think I'm like, I know that I'm looking for different things that other people might be looking for. Um, this is obviously an LED monitor. It's a QHD and it is curved. Um, and so this particular cabinet that I have, I actually will card in a mod I did on it. This thing is pretty much a relic because this company unfortunately doesn't exist anymore. COVID pretty much put them out of business, but it's a Vulix style clone, um, arcade cabinet. And so, yeah, it's going to be really nice for me to be able to get this 32 inch in here. It's going to fill that up real nice. I'll have one arcade stick that'll be on here. And so when I want to play like my, my online fighters and things like that, I'll have a very nice, comfortable space, and then I'm going to just push it right up under this, um, which takes me to the next thing, even though I have on my channel, and I know this video came before I started doing these TV videos, and this has obviously brought more um, viewership to the channel, which I do appreciate. Um, if you wanted to see a tour of my room, I'll do a quick spin around, but I'll card in this game room right here. It's going to feature everything but the uh, new OLED, so we've got... Just you could just kind of tour around. I'm not going to make this a tour video, but just circle around really quick. Random sticks, things like that. Yeah, it's just it's, it's a man cave. I'm, I mean, you know, if you will, if we can call it a man cave. But 
Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm grateful for the, the mentions, all the, the suggestions. Like I said, I've said in several videos, I'll continue to say they are very helpful. Um, but I am enjoying this TV. Uh, I might even title this uh, 11 days in, 10 days in with the TV. I'm really enjoying it. Um, been playing games on it, been doing some work on it, been getting productivity done on it. It's just been a great option for me, man. So if you guys have any more questions, be sure to leave them. Um, I'm going to get to work, working on scripting up some ideas and I'm going to be shooting pretty much tomorrow. I'm going to drop off my, my, um, my challenger to the dealership to get like the oil change and such. And I'm going to be pretty much at the house, just getting some work done. So get ready for a flood starting Thursday. I'm going to shoot you, man. Listen, the video is going to be coming day, 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 day. It's going to be every day content. So thank you for the support. Make sure you guys subscribe. If you do subscribe, please consider hitting the notification bell, man. It really helps. Um, the likes, let me tell you, let me just be real with you as a small YouTuber. When you see the likes, it builds the confidence. When the confidence is built, then I'm more inspired to put the content together. And I'm okay with constructive criticism. If you feel like I could have did something different, let me know. But until next time, Max Love.